Surely jump roping will stop the rain. Look at that thumbnail. It looks like it's gonna happen, see? Skipping. The greatest sport ever created. Hell yeah. It's fun. <laughs> Damn. It cuts your grass. Ah, look at those moves, though. Hell yeah. It's portable. <laughs> and best of all, it's relaxing. We're opening and put out the room now. Very calm. But the other day, as I was having my after what exercise, exercise shower, it's dangerous. I slipped. Oh no! And as I was lying there, I had a thought. Oh! oh. Broad. First minute, it's so cinematic already. This person knows how to edit god dang this is like a movie dude like a film like your next thing yeah. the script the way he tells the story the way the the video is presented oh so cinematic i love it also this title screen right here Okay, before That's I nice. attempt to see if I can skip fast enough it's to stop the rain, I'm going to do some very bad maths to figure out how fast I actually need to skip. So I looked up the average speed of a raindrop, which travels at around 10 meters a second and has a width of 3 millimeters, which is around 10,000 millimeters a second. And if the skipping rope right is 4 millimeters paper. thick, oh, no. 800 rotations a second to stop every drop of rain from hitting your head. And after doing a quick skipping rope test myself... I'm actually pretty close it. with around three rotations a second. So either I need it. to step up my steroid cycle or For find another way to do only. it. Oh, no. And after looking For online, I found this Chinese kid who currently oh. holds two world records. The first as the of fastest jump roper kid. in the world. And the second for the most amount of ants killed in 30 seconds. Oh my managing God. to do 216 That's skips insane. and kill 10,127 ants, which works out at around seven skips a second. So I got excited and immediately sent him a message asking if he wanted <laughs> to join me in the shower amazing. where I could pour water on him. But he never responded, which means I'm going to have to <laughs> cheat get and make shower. something much stronger <laughs> than me and this kid. And I think I know where I want to start with this cement mixer. And my idea is simple. I you have like this Clark? bent rod oh, stuck in here like with a like skipping that. rope on one end so that when I turn it on, it acts like a spinning arm. Oh, this is dangerous, dude. That does not work. And that was crap. The rope didn't do a full rotation at all. It kind of just wobbles in one spot. But after doing a little bit of research, I found this strange advertisement for a skipping rope machine made oh. for children that are either incredibly lazy or that have no arms. Get jumping. And it works way better than my cement mixer, even though the motor is much <laughs> slower and weaker, probably because the spinning arm that the rope is attached to is much longer. So I made this slightly scary looking oh, arm to be and attached longer. it. Dude, this, this is, is dangerous as fuck. This is giving me anxiety. I don't think you can jump rope that. It's pretty good. Like so take this face shield, put it on. Keep to the beat. Jump, jump, jump it. Set your speed and take oh. the beat. Oh. Jump, jump, I mean, jump it. you can do it as well. <laughs> Let's try faster. Yeah. Just, um, obviously, if it gets tangled, release immediately because otherwise the blades will come into my head. Oh yeah. no. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, oh, he's doing it. Okay, stop. And after the rope snapped and whipped me in the eye, I decided oh. it was time for me to make it much faster and stronger. And after raiding the bin of the local pool shop, I found these. But more importantly, this, a 2,500 watt pool pump, which spins at 2,800 Ooh. rotations per minute with a seven meter minimum head. My head is only around 40 centimeters, but hopefully it should still work. So seven I just got meter. a giant metal blade, <laughs> drilled a hole seven in it meter. and attached it to the motor. 
which seems slightly dangerous. Just a sword. This painting thing, bruh, you cannot catch me next to anything like this. Oh, it's a dangerous electric fan. Mm. To so I secured the motor to the table and piled up some stuff to make sure I don't decapitate a passerby and turned it on. Did you hear me scream coming to the garage? But you should probably stand away from that. Three, oh, then I'll go back there, sir. Cockroach fly. Okay. okay, the motor starts slowly, which is actually good for me, as it will increase my chances of being able to skip. And the blade also didn't fly off, which gave me confidence to see how fast this thing will go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, no way, this is so dangerous, dude. So it is fast, and I didn't let it build up to full speed oh because I didn't God. like it that the high pitched noise it was producing was getting higher and higher and louder and louder. Oh. But I'm happy with it, and decided I would attach some more things that can fly off and kill me. Why? Like these Why are you on doing the end, this? So that when the skipping rope is spinning around, it doesn't get tangled up. So I just clamped them down. Then welded them in place. What the heck is this? This toe, toe shots. <laughs> what is this? Oh, so dangerous. And I don't I'm know if you've ever watched life hands. videos on oh TikTok or God, Facebook, bro. but they always weld directly to the bearing when they're building their weird life hack cock and ball torture devices. So I believed it would work. But it doesn't. These bearings do not turn. And I think it's because the little balls inside must be arcing and then welding to each other. Which means I'll need to friction fit the bearings. So friction. I cut out a small section of pipe. Oh, oh and my god, it onto this guy. The metal strip, then press the bearing into it. Oh, this is so dangerous. Every time he zooms oh, in, come on. so close Which to didn't the work fingers. Either. So I'm going to get even more janky and I'm going to use these washers and some super glue to very precariously hold the bearings on. And I am dying to see if this will work. So I just poke through the rope and attach the other side to an anvil. And after giving it a spin with my hand, I reckon this might work. Please work. Kind of works. So it's a He's going to jump through this. This is... Oh no no no! It's not even that fast. And that was a little disappointing. But I'm hoping it was just because the rope was turkey slapping the ground. So I pulled it back so that the rope is just above the ground and gave it another go. Three, two, one. How is this? How how is he gonna jump rope this? That is much faster. Which worked much better, but still nowhere near fast enough. So I reckon I can fix this by reducing the weight of the spinning arm with some wood. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can watch anymore. <laughs> oh, my palms are getting sweaty from watching this. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's wood. Okay, cool. Ah, 
I but because watch of the thickness of the wood, I've also had to cut the nut, which holds the spinning arm to the motor in half, which really doesn't give me much confidence. Three, two, one. Oh my God, that's so scary. What the hell yeah. is this? I did a so thing. That is so much faster. And the wood spins much faster than the steel. But for some reason, as soon as I added the rope, it slowed down heaps. Huh. Why is it slower? And I'm wondering why it's getting slower. Because the wood is rubbing against the motor. Oh, friction. I was like, why is this so hot as well? That makes so much sense. Hey, round four. This time with a split in the wood. Three, two, one. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, dude. Oh my god, of course. Okay. Wood snapped in half. So I think the wood is a bit too weak. But I ignored my own advice and attempted to use the wood again, but this time with another washer to give the wood some support. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh. That sounds so scary. Oh, dream theater? Yeah. I don't know what dream, dream, dream theater is. I cannot use wood. <laughs> and after that great success, I decided I would go back to using the steel, but add another rope. So there is double the chances of it hitting the raindrops. And to do that, I need to attach the other side of the ropes to something that spins. As if it doesn't rotate, the ropes will get tangled and will then pull themselves into the giant death blade. And I reckon these bearings, which Death came blade. off a lazy Susan, will probably rotate enough for that. But after a quick test, it's very obvious this lazy Susan doesn't want to spin. That's crap. <laughs> it's Susan. a lazy Susan. But then I had an amazing revolutionary idea. Maybe I can invent a tiny palm sized spinning device with a bearing in the middle that has two bearings on each side. So then you can hold it in the it's middle like and it can spin freely. So I came up with a couple of designs and this one works Ooh, the best. Batman, and I reckon if anyone watching wants to make a pile of money, all you need to do is mass produce these cheap in China and then sell <laughs> them to children all over the world. Just get me in on some of the profits. Oh, hell yeah. That sounds satisfying. Okay, the palm spinner idea seems to work. The rope is making a full rotation without getting that tangled. The rope is but I'm dangerous, kind of worried though. the 3D printed plastic will break while spinning at high speed this and then the wires will come loose, creating the world's real. largest Fuck ripper yeah. snipper. So I stacked up some more stuff to protect my family who are on the other side of this wall in case the whole thing flies apart. Then gave it a full speed test. Three, two, one. There's no way someone can jump rope that. Does that work? Double rope? Now. And I am amazed. I've yeah, never amazing. made something that works first go before. And the high speed camera confirms that the palm spinner is doing a great job of rotating and not tangling the ropes. But just like Paul Walker, I need to go faster. And I've realized how. You must go Alum faster. Alum aluminum. Aluminium. 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 Three, two, one. Aluminium can make it go faster. Oh, that's scary. Oh. That worked oh really well. Maybe God. too well, actually, as I think I almost turned it into a propeller. Yeah. So I attached the metal wires, and luckily while doing that, discovered that the 3D printed palm spinner had broken. So I used the last of my skateboard bearings and created a new spinner out of aluminium and super glue. Now I'm ready for the final super... test before trying to jump rope fast enough to stop the rain. What? Eight, you're gonna jump two, rope that shit, one. bruh? Oh, stop! Oh my god, that's so scary. And I reckon that's as fast as I'm gonna get it. So I put some Loctite on the bolt of the propeller to make sure that it wasn't coming off. and then gave it a proper titan. And then I grabbed some stuff around the house to make one of those stupid rain devices that every single... Oh. Hey. 
It's muted. Oh, I guess because of a copyright. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, the music video rain. So now, hopefully, when I open this tap, the water runs through the hose into the bar. Oh my god. Whoa, cinema, dude, cinema. Past Hell his yeah. legs, down the drain, through the pipe, and then out the head before it falls directly onto this wire. Bro, this guy is a filmmaker. And I was about to turn it on for a test, but luckily remembered that my yard is always filled with birds that fly around. And the last thing I want oh, to do is birds. create a magpie pie. So I decided I would just wait for night. Nice. And before testing the machine, I thought I should have a go at skipping so we can get a comparison and see how bad I am. Oh, it's going to be so cold. I don't think he's going to use that machine. He's going to jump prop and then compare the, what the machine can do. And at first I thought I got all cold and wet for nothing, but after looking at the high speed... How haven't I heard of him before? I don't know. You can actually see that the skipping rope was doing something. And hit YouTube the rain, recommendations leaving a trail like of mist. Sometimes. Which gives me hope that the full speed test will create an air bubble force field around me. And my original intention was to attempt to skip in the middle of this machine, but after nah, seeing what happens when it goes wrong, and seeing what happens when it goes right, I'm not going to risk it. But yeah, Chinese Jump it. Rope Kid, if you're watching, the offer's still open if you want to come smash your own world record. Okay, I decided to start with the shower setting, which most resembles rain. Oh, this sound is... Oh, this is a nightmare. Dude. <laughs> the sound of nightmare. Can it actually work? Let's see. And at first glance, that didn't seem very successful either. But in the slow-mo, you can see that it definitely impacts more raindrops than before and creates a line of mist where the rope spins. Yeah. And I mean, that's a beautiful effect. especially well against the larger raindrops. So Ooh, I changed the setting on the hose and gave it another go. Soaker. Oh, kind of beautiful. It's like water fireworks. Waterworks. <gasps> and he this created is awesome waterworks. To watch. I kind of feel like I'm watching a battle take place. Raindrops versus an insane man. Damn. And it doesn't hit often, but when it does, it's extremely satisfying. I was entertained for at least three minutes while editing, having fun betting on which raindrop is going to explode. <laughs> it also worked slightly better when I used the mist setting, but not because it hit the drops, but because it creates a kind of circular airflow which slightly oh, changes the path of the rain. That's beautiful. But besides that is a complete failure. It stops maybe one out of a hundred raindrops. But while watching the slow I realized something it is not a complete failure at. The giant lights placed directly behind the giant spinning wires means I've created the world's largest, most elaborate bug killer. Oh god, poor Talk bug dude. Oh, okay, man. let's chuck some stuff into it. Ooh. Banana. He's gonna slice the banana. <gasps> oh, imagine if he jump rope that. Oh God, I don't want to think about it. Okay, this is what it did to the banana. Oh. Not very impressive. That's but scary. But the banana did this to the machine. <laughs> this thing is so And that was also a waste of a banana. Thank you so much for oh watching. If you like God, that, please don't... subscribe and check out some of my other stuff. I like your video. I like this video, but it gave me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Too dangerous. What is up with these scientific channels, dude? It's... Oh. Oh. Ax.
anxiety inducing inventions. Oh, God. I mean, it is cool, but also. Oh, oh no, no. That's all I can say. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song.